Okay, my YouTube people. I had somebody ask me on Facebook, one of the group pages on there, about a shovel head relay. So this is a Bosch relay. This terminal here where the yellow wire is, and you can see where the back and mounting is, is 30. The red wire is 85. The white wire is 87. The black wire is 86. And the center one, which isn't used, is 87A. So the contacts are from the yellow wire 30 to the white wire 87. They're normally open contacts, so when this relay fires, they close. That center contact is the normally closed. When the relays de-energize, contact 30 is at 0 ohms to 87A, but we don't care about that because it's not used. The coil in this relay is fired from 86 to 85. And right now, you can see on my meter that the normally open contacts are open because there's no power applied to this relay. So when I put power to this relay, uh, and right now I have it where 85 is hot, you can see it closes the contacts. I take the power off, it opens, I put power on, it closes. Now the question is, is if you reverse the polarity of the voltage that's firing the coil, Okay, now you can see the polarity is reversed. The red wire, which is the hot, is now on 86, and the ground is now on 85. You can see that the relay contacts are open, and now I apply a power, and it closes. So the answer to his question is, if you're doing some kind of custom build or something like that, it doesn't matter what side has the positive and what side has the ground of the coil internally to this relay. The contacts still close regardless of which polarity the voltage is applied to the coil. I hope this helps and uh, have a great day and don't forget to like and subscribe.